Hi, John Peake here, the Paint Professor, with your Painting Pro Tip of the Week. Now this week I want to show you how to take a new gate with uh, all this beautiful Douglas fir wood and keep it from rotting for 30 years. Now the gate from the home that this, uh, this is a replacement gate from a home we're working on, and they had a problem in that the house is only 15 years old and their gate was completely rotted out. So I had this gate made by a carpenter friend of mine, and I'm going to show you how to treat this gate in a way that it will last a very, very long time. Now I've taken a uh, small little ketchup bottle that I purchased, and we use this to mix 50-50, the material there, the Smith's epoxy, and now bringing it over to the door, I'm going to start by squirting it in these cracks. See here? I'll use the brush to uh, even things out a little bit. But this way, see this is the top of the door where water is going to get in at some point in the future. <laughs> so I'll probably end up using about two quarts of material on this door. But you can see how it, it's so watery that it just soaks right in immediately. I'm going to even it out a little bit and go over the whole, uh, all the door and all the cracked areas to get this sealed up. Of course we're going to put a, a, a regular primer over this, but what this is doing is it, it's getting into the wood and making it so waterproof that uh, it'll never have a problem. Now. I purchased this at the marine store. Uh, people who own yachts know about this material, but uh, painters are not as uh, aware of this stuff. So sometimes you have to go to the, the boat store to get this. So here's the top of the door. You can see I've applied it very liberally to the top of the door, even though I'm going to put copper capping over the top of this once it's painted. Uh, I wanted to make sure that there are no chances that water could cause damage in the top of the door where rain is going to hit it. Likewise, I filled every one of the cracks all the way down the door and the top edges of these reinforcing uh, pieces. Now down here at the bottom, I was very liberal with it down here. The bottom of the door is where water can suck up uh, through the grain of the wood. So it's it's very very heavily applied down here And I'm going to even apply more down here uh, Because it looks like as you can see here. It's already sucked up enough to where it's uh, Light colored so I'm going to put it on more heavy there So here is the door fully coated. I flood coated the front and as you can see it's still quite wet but this is a slow drying watery epoxy so that the over time, all this is going to soak into the fibers of the wood and make this thing basically plasticized. This is a good coating to put under uh, something that you're going to varnish. It's also a good coating for under things that you're going to paint. See how the end grain really sucked the material up. So water cannot uh, get sucked into this wood over the years and cause rot. That's the main purpose of this. In doing this gate is to caulk it. Normally you would wait until you've primed the door before putting your caulking on, but the epoxy acts as a pre-primer, so we're gonna go ahead and do our caulking. The three tools you're going to need is a bucket of water, a rag, and then a good, high-quality, elastomeric-type caulking, because the doors, wooden doors like that over time tend to move a little bit, so you want something that not only sticks well, but will move and flex over time. So, once we get the caulking done, then we're going to put the primer on. Here's a cool little tool I found at the paint store. It clips onto the uh, one gallon can of paint. In this case it's my primer. And I can use it with a two inch roller. And because this uh, gate is fairly small, I'm not going to need a big roller. So I've got my brush to knock down the roller stipple and uh, we'll get this door primed. So priming every surface on the door, even behind the hinges when they're cut and behind the handle when it gets cut so that everything's sealed up good and tight before painting. I hope you've enjoyed this pro tip of the week with your old buddy John Peake, the paint professor. 